10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Drones. Starting at number 10. Alter 818 Hornet. It's one of everyone's favorite, 818 Hornet has a neat design combined with amazing specifications. It also supports live video and custom route mapping indoor and outdoor. Alter 818 Hornet performs exactly as you should expect from an under $200 drone. Great stability, swift and gentle turns, overall great for kids and beginners. It's also highly durable and has three speed modes. From beginner to expert, you going to love it 818 Hornet packs a 2MP camera with 720p resolution and 120 degrees wide angle lens. The camera is capable of recording some surprisingly great quality video, as well as take awesome aerial photos. It can also transmit live video via Wi-Fi directly to the pilot's smartphone. The remote controller has a phone holder where you can attach your device when flying FPV, watch a real-time video. Before you go bursting into expletives figuring out what in the world heading hold is, it's just Alter Aerial 818 Hornet's term for headless mode, a feature seen in almost every drone on the market. This allows the drone to forget its own front-end orientation and instead relies on the pilot's own front-end position to fly. Nice set of features, with one exceptionally fun, the custom route mapping, where you can draw your flight path on the drone's app. Besides this it has headless mode, altitude hold, one button takeoff and landing, low battery and out of range alarm and 3D VR compatibility. Number 3D flip. At number 9. Parrot Mambo Mission. One of the most interesting drones currently available in the market. It is manufactured by the widely popular brand Parrot. The best part is it includes Parrot cockpit glasses for an immersive drone racing experience first of all, let me start by saying this drone is not suitable for beginners. Parrot Mambo is very fast and acrobatic, you will require an intermediate level of skill to control it. Due to its characteristics it makes up for a nice racing drone. Parrot Mambo can be controlled via the 2. 4GHZ remote controller of the app. While the control distance on the remote is a good 100 meters long. The range with the Bluetooth app is very short. Flight time is also a good 10 minutes. And the battery life did prove to be an issue for us 8 minutes just didn't feel like enough time. Plus, in high winds, the drone has to work harder to remain stable and on course, and the flight time is reduced further. This is an interesting point, as compared to other drones on the market, the Parrot Mambo FPV actually has very competitive battery life, but we frequently found ourselves just getting to the stage where we were getting comfortable with flying the Mambo, when the battery would become critically low. The Zero. 3MP camera is low resolution, but surprisingly capable of delivering great quality footage, even when streaming live video directly to the FPV goggles. In fact, we didn't expect the camera to be this good and transmit lag-free FPV video. Live video can be transmitted to the smartphone screen or FPV goggles. Without a doubt some very amazing unique features, extremely fun. Besides this, it is also one of the first drones to efficiently feature an optical position hold system, together with an acoustic sonar altitude hold. On top of this, it has three flight modes. Easy, drift and racing. Number 8 of my list. Potensic F181DH. A very complete FPV package that includes LCD monitor and an aluminum box to easily transport the quacopter around. F181W is a cheap FPV drone with all you need to start flying right out of the box. If you want to invest in a complete FPV package and want a nice box to fit your items and carry them around on your ventures, this is it. The drone performs greatly and is a good fit to even the most of beginners. Easy to control, hovers steadily without much pilot's input. A nice detail is that F181W is able to fly even in windy conditions. The specs meet the average requirements. Flight time is around 8 to 10 minutes, while control range is around 80 to 100 meters max. The 2MP camera is capable of recording good quality video and take photos. However, the highlight is the 5. 8GHZ live video transmission. Displayed on the LCD screen, watch the real-time video as you fly in the outdoor. 
Here's our review the F181DH which is loaded with great features including FPV, altitude hold and a brilliant stepless speed function which makes it great fun, easy to fly and suitable for beginners through to more advanced pilots. Well priced and definitely great value for money, not necessarily the cheapest on the market, but for what you get, and the great quality it's pretty much everything you could want in a drone. Comes only with basic features, in fact, it's a bit disappointing when it comes to feature set. Only offers headless mode, altitude hold, one button takeoff and landing, 3D flip and LED lights. Nothing fancy but does have the essentials. Coming at number 7. MJX Bugs 4W. The only drone on this list equipped with an action camera with full HD video. It is the upgraded version of MJX Bugs 3, and one of the best quadcopters in this price range that you can possibly buy. Great value for your money looking for the top performing drone? You found it. The MJX Bugs 5W is an outstanding drone with a top performance like no other. The number one choice for anyone seeking a drone to film in the outdoors. Great stability, easy to control, although not a good fit for beginners. It is equipped with 4 MT1806 1800 kV brushless motors, allowing it to fight the wind very well, overall 10 tenths performance. The MJX Bug B5W specs are out of this world. If you are like me and enjoy long range and extended flight time, surely you will fall in love with the Bug. Powered by a 7. 6V 3400 mAh battery, each giving 22 minutes of flight time. Control range is way past the average for the best drone under $200, we are talking about an amazing 300 to 500 meters this drone comes with an 2K UHD action camera. One of the best low budget cameras you can get already included with a drone. However, if you are looking for more than a recreational action camera, the MJX Bugs B4W can also easily carry other action cameras, such as the Stcam and the popular GoPro. The Bug comes with a list of features, including auto return, follow me mode, flight tracking software, one button takeoff and landing and brushless motors. At number 6. Holy Stone HS165 Drone. Holy Stone HS165 has quickly become one of the best-selling drones under $150. Why? Well, first of all, it is the best bang for your buck. Truly worth the investment, especially to beginners. Secondly, performs as expected from a modern-day quadcopter. Most people expect bad performance from a cheap drone, but such reality has faded some time ago. Nowadays, most drones are able to provide a decent performance, making it easy for even to beginners to fly. HS165D tops the competition, and truly shows how much these modern, cheaper drones, have evolved. Even without previous piloting experience, once you get your hands on HS165 you'll see how steady its hover is, and how responsive it is as well. The video recorded from HS165 has no latency and jello effect, two very common factors among baby drones. The image quality is also slightly above average, which is a nice addition to an already great purchase. Don't get me wrong, of course, this is not high-definition video and photographs. But it does have a good 1080p resolution, and a lens with a 90 degrees field of view. If you want this drone with slightly wider field of view, then check out our drones for sale Megapost, where we covered its bigger brother, the 120HD in detail. Ensuring you get a clear picture, good enough to post on YouTube and social media and show off to your friends. The drone also transmits live video via Wi-Fi directly to a smartphone device through a free-to-download app. The camera can be placed on a phone holder attached to the two. 4G HZ or 5G HZ remote controller. Included in the bundle. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Potensic D80 drone. It's one of the few quads on this list equipped with brushless motors. Specifications? Does 600 meter control distance sound good to you first of all, let me start by saying this is not a drone for beginners that does require at least an intermediate level of expertise. Why? Well, the D80 is very fast and highly maneuverable, in beginner hands it may be a struggle. 
The quad is equipped with four powerful brushless motors and can reach up to 40 km per hour if you are like me, and you enjoy a top-of-the-line flight time and control range to enhance the whole drone experience, my friend you are going to love Bugs 6. Powered by a 7. 4V1800 Ma LiPo battery, the D80 can fly for 20 minutes. Way more than other drones on this top 16. Now, one of the main reasons I enjoy flying drones is because most of them come with decent HD cameras. They allow you to see the world from a new perspective, and you if you are a frequent traveler, you can record your journey and keep those magical moments for a lifetime. The Potensic D80 comes with a fixed 2K camera that has a 120 degrees field of view, the camera is fixed within the body of the drone and is not stabilized by any kind of gimbal. The Potensic D80 features one of the best Full HD cameras in this review. With the built-in 1080p 5G Wi-Fi real-time transmission camera, it can capture clear pictures, even if the drone flies in high speed. You can also pair the 5G transmission system with a pair of VR goggles. See our drone accessories guide for more info. Coming in at number 4 of my list. Alter Aerial AA300. The Alter AA300 is another great choice under $200, and it is one powerful flying machine. It comes with built-in with GPS technology that leads to great stability when flying and taking aerial photos. This helps when flying, especially when looking to use the awesome camera that this drone has. While it does come packed with features to make experienced flyers happy, they've also included a lot to help for beginners get off the ground easily. It's simple to start flying this drone, and the learning curve from ground to air is so small that anyone can do it. Top that off with the Alter brand's customer service, and you've got one of the best drones you can buy for under $200. Specifications to start off, the AA300 drone scores well with a 15-minute flight time in the all-important battery life category. This beats out a lot of other drones at this price point. It also features a max range of 150 meters which is not too shabby either. It's enough range for beginner to intermediate flyers, but might leave experienced drone pilots wanting a bit more. The drone also touts itself as a GPS drone for beginners, which we wholeheartedly agree with. The included GPS features make this drone very easy to fly and control, and many of the other features also contribute to a low learning curve. That's not to say more experienced pilots won't enjoy flying this drone. The Alter AA300 has got enough features to be fun for all skill levels. There's also the point of interest and follow me modes available. These are some neat extra features that help set this drone apart from its competition. The camera is the real winner of this drone. With a 1080p high definition camera, the quality is simply incredible for a drone at this price. We were very impressed with the quality of both video and photos. You also have the ability to fly in FPV mode when you connect your mobile device to the drone. This is a great way to really feel like you're flying inside the drone. At number 3. Snapton SP700. There are so many cheap consumer drones available in the market today, but not all will live up to your expectations as far as performance is concerned. One model, however, has the potential to meet, if not surpass what you have in mind. The Snapton SP700 is a compact and foldable quadcopter that you can easily take on your travels. It has a sturdy build for a pocket drone, as well as a host of other impressive specifications. Whether you're a rookie pilot or a seasoned drone flyer, a glance at what it has to offer will likely raise an eyebrow. Let's take a look at what are the SP700 has to offer the Snapton SP700 features a high-quality modular battery that will allow you 16 minutes of flight time. The battery will, however, require 3 hours to fully recharge, so, if you want to make the most of your playtime, buying an extra battery would be a wise move. It has a controller range of 500 meters, which is quite decent for a quad in its price range. The drone makes use of a GPS module to provide an easy time for users when they are flying it. A return home feature will automatically bring the drone to its starting position when you fly it out of range or when the battery is low. Inexperienced users will benefit from the one key takeoff landing function, which simplifies getting the drone up in the air. Further smart flight features like follow me mode, waypoints, point of interest, and intelligent geofence enhance safety when flying the drone while also making the experience exciting. 
For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming at number 2, Ichini 520s. I am no drone expert so let's get that out of the way nor claim to be one, however I am seeing many people in the tech world pushing a certain brand claiming 400 euros is what you call an affordable drone which is utter bullshit. Ok the brand in question is DJI that make good drones don't get me wrong, but the constant push at 400 euros and affordable is BS and should be ignored unless you are using in a professional capacity and have been flying drones before and have had the practice of their basic functions before you go and shed out big money on the more expensive ones. Drones come in all shapes and sizes and of course price point and can be picked up cheap as the one in this review for example. If you are new to drones start out on the smaller cheap scale to get the skills to understand how they work rather than shell out and lose your affordable 400 euros drone and be pissed off for a long time over it, at least losing a cheap drone is not a big deal and a fraction of the price. This drone comes in several variants and all cheap but can go up much higher and here is where to start. I have lost a drone and I know many other who have only my first drone loss was non-expensive and I got over it, however I know some folk who have lost expensive ones going in with the expert approach and never flew a drone before, and I just laugh. It is simple to set up use and learn the basics with easy to use controls on the joypad or use the on-screen controls from your smartphone with basis toggles again on both to capture images record videos and do basic commands controlling it. This is a first of several drones I will be checking out, and this time around I had brutal weather, and it was windy which made it hard to get good stabilized footage, but I went out to see what it was capable of doing in such conditions, and the results are good given the poor camera on this, but the day footage is good enough, and a great way to get started before you get the skills and knowledge built up, and shed out truckloads of money for the likes of DJI and so on. And number 1. Short Out Duel. When you're looking for a good quality drone for a decent price, it can easily become frustrating, especially if you're a first-time buyer. Finding that ideal drone to add to the cart can become tough if you're looking for some top-tier performance. Luckily, we found the one, and it's Ruko U11 4K. It's a more affordable version of the Ruko F11, and the specs go a mile longer than the price. It's easily portable, so it's the drone you want to take with you on your travels. All that, thanks to a 7.4V lithium polymer battery. This long-lasting battery takes around 2.5 hours for a full charge. What really got our attention is the extra battery included, so, double flight time for the price now, let's talk about the control range. The control range is somewhat decent 300 meters when using the controller included in the package. That's lower than the standard for drones, but it's fine when you take the price into account. The controller is simple, easy to use, and has a minimalist feel to it. The smartphone mount is included, if you prefer to fly the drone with FPV. FPV lessens the range to 150 meters, but the extra feature makes up for it, and it's something every beginner will appreciate. The auto return function, enabled by GPS, will make sure your quadcopter flies back home when it's running low on battery or loses signal. What we found to be a flaw is the lack of an obstacle avoidance feature. This could result in possible collisions in the air, especially if you're a beginner. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.